Arthur's Teacher Trouble by Mark Brown. The bell rang. The first day of school was over. Kids ran out of every classroom, every one but room 13. Here the students filed out slowly in alphabetical order. See you tomorrow, said their teacher, Mr. Ratburn. As everyone was leaving, the principal came out of his office. Are you ready for the September Spellathon? He asked. Yes, cheered the crowd. Who's going to win this year? Asked the principal. Me, everyone shouted. If I win again this year, do I get my name on the trophy twice? Asked Prunella. Not if I can help it, whispered Francine. When Arthur got home, he slammed the back door. How was school? Mother asked. I got the strictest teacher in the whole world, grumbled Arthur. Have a chocolate chip cookie, said Mother. Don't have time, said Arthur. I have tons of homework. I'll eat Arthur's, said D.W. I don't have any homework. You don't even go to school, said Arthur. I know, D.W. smiled. The next day, Mr. Ratburn announced a spelling test for Friday. I want you to stud study very hard, he said. The test will have a hundred words. Buster looked pale. And, continued Mr. Ratburn, the two students with the highest scores will represent our class at the all-school spellathon. That week, everyone in Arthur's class studied harder than ever. Arthur spent a lot of time looking for quiet places to study. Suddenly, it was Friday and time for the test. Arthur could smell Mrs. Sweetwater's class making popcorn. He could hear Mrs. Fink's class leaving for a trip to the aquarium. Why did we have to get stuck with the rat? He whispered to Francine. Mr. Ratburn corrected their papers during lunch. Class, he said, most of you did very well on the test, but only two of you spelled every word correct. Muffy smiled. Francine hiccuped. Buster patted his good luck charm. Mr. Ratbird cleared his throat. Our class representatives for the spellathon will be Brain and Arthur. There must be some mistake, said Muffy. Mr. Ratburn gave Arthur and the Brain each a special list of words. Just study these and you'll be ready for the spellathon in two weeks, he said. Arthur's family helped him study. Grandma asked Arthur his spelling words. How about your C-H-O-R-E-S? Father asked. Have you made your B-E-D? -D? Mother added. D.W. helped too. When Francine and Buster came over, D.W. answered the door. Arthur can't play, but I can. She said, I don't have to study. I can't believe the spellathon is finally here, said Grandma. Maybe now we'll get a little peace and quiet, D.W. said. Good luck. Arthur said mother and father. From backstage, Arthur could hear the whole school out in the auditorium. Well, today's the big day, said Mr. Ratburn. How do you feel? I feel fine, the brain answered. Arthur gulped. I wish I were still back in bed. The brain wasn't the only one to drop out quickly. The representatives from Mrs. Sweetwater's and Mrs. Fink's class were gone in a flash. Before long, only Arthur and Prunilla were left. It was Pranula's turn. The word is preparation, said the principal. Pranula looked down at her feet. Could I have the definition, please? She asked after a moment. Preparation, the principal repeated. The process of getting ready. Of course, said Pranula. P-R-E-P, -E she paused. E-R-A-T-I-O-N. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, said the principal. Now Arthur gets a chance to spell it. Arthur looked over to the audience and took a deep breath. Preparation, he said. P-R-E-P-A-R-A-T-I-O-N. Correct, said the principal. Everyone in Mr. Ratburn's class cheered. Then Mr. Ratburn went to the microphone. I'm very proud of Arthur, he said. In fact, I'm proud of my whole class. They worked very hard. This is the last third grade I'll have in the spellathon, but next year I'll look forward to a new challenge. Teaching Kindergarten.